A calamity tier threat is upon us. Actually, was it calamity? Was it catastrophe? Whatever. It's a huge threat on the power of Demon Lord level and Phobio, that's right. Phobio himself <laughs> is the one that is the source of this power because he's so fucking dumb. He got baited by the clowns. The moderate Harley Quinn Alliance made of Footman, Laplace, Tear. I feel like these guys are more dangerous than Demon Lords because all they're trying to do is spawn random Demon Lords to get their favor. But at the end of the day, they're like the puppet masters acting like clowns. I wonder if there's like an actual real clown. And I bet they even view Clayman as just like a plaything. Like they're, he's just useless, right? We're just kind of acting nice. Now, the plan right now to battle this Calamity level threat. It was Calamity? Nice. How do we do it? Megido! Sorry, that's season two. We're gonna fight, but then Milim, I believe, shows up and she's gonna deliver the entire fina uh, the entire, like, the cool moves. Let's begin today's reaction. Yes, the calamity. Hazard, calamity, disaster, catastrophe. Hazard sounds so weak. Gopta, dude! Gopta's ready! I, I, I. What what is Gopta and them gonna do? This is an aerial battle though, right? Like like think about it. We have the Pegasus Knights, which makes sense because they're flying. But if this is an aerial battle, like they can fly too, right? The Dragon Newts they have wings. What the fuck is the Orgs and you know what are they gonna do? The fuck is Gopta gonna do? Maybe I shouldn't question Gopta. I'm sure he'll figure something out. A hundred Pegasus Knights and Light Captain Dorf. Dorf is his name? Cool, cool. My junior? Is it disrespectful that Gazal considers us his junior? He has been around for a longer time, so in terms of seniority, I guess he is the senpai, right? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like Gazal's a very nice guy. Absolutely, he's a great guy. Ototo? I just heard uh, Junior right here, right? All I heard, what does Ototo specifically translate to? All I read was Junior right here. I think he does respect Rimuru for sure, but it's like sometimes we, I, I just know that we're above him. So sometimes I feel like we're getting big brother, even though he should be a little bro. <laughs> All right. I do like Gazel though, he's great. Yeah, exactly. Why are you big broing us? <laughs> Look at the CGI shark, the Megalodons. Oh, it's called Hell Flare? I thought it was called Hell Flame. CGI Shark down! Is this better use of CGI? I don't know. Oh? Oh, it's weaker. Oh, they have like innate like resistance. Okay, what's the plan here? The big boys run, okay, bait it down. Guild? Oh, look at this big boy go! Let's go, Gil. I want Gopta to show up and get the finishing blow. Gopta! Lizardman? Hakuro? Gamiru! Yo, he has a name technique! Bro has a fucking name technique, dude. Did you see his eyes there? I saw it. I saw his eyes. Look at this. For Getting the fucking laser eye thing. Kakoi Kamenu Sama! <laughs> he looks pretty fucking sick here, yeah. Let's go! Kakoi! Look at this, you know, look at this camaraderie between Gabiru and Geld. The biggest fan, dude. Gabiru's number one fan. All right, let's see the Pegasus Knights. What are they going to do? Goblin Rider! <laughs> tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Okay, strategy. And Hakuru just watches them. Training. I don't know. I, I feel like... Okay, he's actually giving orders, I guess. I thought he was just coaching from the side, but like... <laughs> It's kind of fucked if you think about it, how like he could get in there and help with the battle, but he's treating this like a mock battle of training his men. And technically it, it is just training, but like how, how could it? What if these goblins die, dude? Help them out. He is used, that's right. He turned from 85 to 80. In about 15 minutes, Milim. I think 15 minutes you get in. No, Milim, not yet, not yet. Don't give me those puppy eyes. 
I think that's Gabiru's sister, right? Oh, he can like manipulate this me uh, Megalodon. Puppet string. It would have been cool if John Smith did something like that too. Oh shit, Shion's going. Yeah, when did Renga? When could she do that? And when did that happen too? No, 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 Ranga and Shiwon, they stood out a lot during the orc arc, right? Ranga did the whole, like, he evolved into, like, a star, Tempest, Wolf, he needed a tornado attack. Shiwon did the huge, like, cleaves. There it is. Oh, it's got a name technique? This looks like sashimi. Not yet, Milan. But these are just the Megalodons. We gotta worry about Karibudis. The real thing, you know? Will our magic even reach it? Oh, Hakuro going in! Dude! Dude! Hakuro actually has the best animation in this show! Like, straight up, I think, like, even in Season 2, I just remember the, 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 all the cool shit, I just remember Hakuro doing it. Like, he is the pinnacle of an anime swordsmanship. Look at this shit! Look at the way he just moves his arms! And he just turns it around, doesn't even look at what he just did. So fucking cool. The only thing missing here is the rain of blood happening. It's just Hakuro animations are so cool. Holy. Like, could you imagine Hakuro in his peak? Like, Hakuro, like, Hakuro in his peak when he was like younger? I don't know. Could you imagine when he was like Benny Maru's age? Holy fuck, right? <laughs> Gopter's gonna hit his uh, Zenkai boost. <laughs> Yo, Soei is just making these uh, Megalodons look like like sashimi. Uh oh. Okay, Shion Ranga, Pegasus Knights. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna know. Use Demon Lord Milim. <laughs> she just goes away. Milim looks so bored. Oh. What? Whoa, 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 what? The scale? The scales are like moving? Little megalodons? Oh! Don't be a weakling! Don't be a weakling! I'm not gonna lie. Every time Ranga fucking uses that attack, he has to go like, oh, it's kind of funny to me. <laughs> Sometimes he goes Waga Aruji. Sometimes he's like panting like a dog. Sometimes he just howls like that. It's funny. No, no one's dying here. No one's dying here. The real me- Bro is just so fucking competent. The real me will withdraw before I get killed. Bro, it's, he he's already has insurance already. Like, he's not sweating at all. <laughs> Karibudi's face looks very funny. Look at the teeth. <laughs> just <laughs> look at it. Damn. Our lord just called us idiots. Devour! Yep. When, when when we don't know what to do, we just fucking use devour. Now, this is called gluttony. I am still a little bit confused, but the skill itself is called gluttony, right? Okay, Storm <laughs> Stormblast already fucking wrote up a comment, and there is a delay on Twitch. So you anticipated that I would ask this, and you typed up a... <laughs> Alright, gluttony is the evolved version of Predator, by the way. It is a combination of the Orc Lord Star and Rimuru's Predator. It's just advanced version. So it's no longer just called Predator or Devour. It's called Gluttony. Okay, this is like tier 3. I don't know what tier it is, but okay. Just better Devour. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? It's sparkling. Oh, it just regenerates so fast too. The scales. Benimaru still has, you know, the leadership, huh? He is like the right-hand man. Good dog. 
Black Lightning? Black Lightning, yeah? Ooh. Okay, they saved the animation for this episode, man. Look at this budget. The CGI is a little sus, but it's alright. Three minutes for all those scales? It's a three minute timer to get rid of the scales and then what, though? Okay, what are they gonna actually do, though? <laughs> look at look at the orc here. Look at look at the orc. He threw the axe. He actually threw the fucking axe. Look, look. I'll, I'll get rid of the subtitles for a second. Look, 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 look. Bro, <laughs> the axe. <laughs> Where did the axe even go? <laughs> look, I appreciate. Uh, trying to put in some effort in, you know, that they're trying to, you know, contribute, listen to the orders. Like, of all these people, like, this is like, whatever magic the goblins are using are probably working really well, right? The dragon needs to pretty close up. Guild, I don't know about this axe, man. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, 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 whoa! He did get a new axe every time he threw! Where is how's he reloading? And it's afternoon. <laughs> Nothing has happened. We're getting like more tired. We're just getting defeated. Like this is gonna be a stalemate at this rate. Do we need Mila? Oh, Trainee is here right there. Do you see that? Trainee is maybe healing Gabiru? I'm not sure. Look at Karibudis. Oh, it's Phobio. Oh, it's Phobio. This idiot Phobio, dude. Yeah. Pretty much, yes. Nah. You're not important right now. Yes! I guess the whole point of why I didn't want to ask for help because it was kind of like our responsibility, right? Minim was like, yo, I can do this shit. Put me in, coach. But then they're like, no. I think she was like, no, this is like our battle. We'll deal with it. But technically, at the end of the day, it's fucking Milan. Well, then again, who let Milan stay here? We did. Like, we baited her with the honey, so indirectly, we're kind of at fault. Anyways, Milan, get in there. Put her in, coach! Cap. 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 <laughs> Liar. I bet you were wishing that we would lose so you can get in. Yes, it's time. The Milan eye really can just see everything, huh? Damn. Put her in, coach! Yeah. Our ace, dude. Oh, shit. Millen got her cape on, dude. So, like, is there lore on the cape? Like, sometimes she wears the cape, sometimes she doesn't. I personally like it when Millen has the cape. It makes her look like a, I don't know, like a superhero. Yes. That's crazy. How even at this point, like, if it was anyone else, the fact that this motherfucker from a different nation came to us with this kind of catastrophe threat, like, we should not be trying to help him out. But Rimuru is just so kind and benevolent that no matter how much people come at us, like, we'll always save them. It was like that for Gabiru, too. It's crazy. And Phobio, will he learn from this? Maybe he does. Maybe he does have a redemption arc. And he's not even, like, one of the most important Beasketeers either, because I remember there's, like, a snake girl that was, like, really hot. Restraints? Okay. Her eyes there kind of look like Gojo Satoru when he was high on power. Look. It's just the unhinged white eyes with the, uh, the, the blue color, right? Oh, no, Gabi is still up. Never mind, he wasn't getting healed. Here we go. Kariburis versus Milim. How does she repel the scales? She... She didn't stop time there, right? No. Wait, 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 What, 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 what? You can just do that? I don't remember this shit. She just fucking just stops it? It's not time. She just kind of like nullified that, huh? She just pretty much just like nullified these scales that just kind of made it useless. What the fuck? Here it is! The ultimate technique! And it's an instant, right? The entire thing just dies! 
it? No, no, no. Maybe that is the restraint. Imagine if she actually had no restraint. He should have fucking died. He should have fucking died. God damn. And like this kind of magic is something we don't really have, right? Because like Rimuru, when he was using, at least at this point in time, because when we were using like black lightning, it's like a small stream, you know, just like pew. But what Milim has is just like all, all ranging, just fucking atomic, you know? The, it's, it's just an AoE nuke that we just don't have yet. I remember in season two, there is Megiddo, but it's not like this. It's different. I gotta save this fucking dumbass too. Fuck you, Phobio. That's our Milim. That's thumbnail picture right there. The fuck? What is that heart? What? Is that his heart? Everybody's looking like, I wonder what they're thinking. They're probably thinking, this piece of shit, why are we even saving him, man? Or maybe this is the Karibudis, uh, whatever it is. Okay. Yeah, we're removing Karibudis, like, stuff from Phobio. So disrespectful, but he deserves it. Just throw him. Yeah. Did we actually devour it, though? But 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 we we used um we used um fuck we used gluttony on the scales though didn't we? And then I I guess it might have been off screen because we didn't see Rimuru absorb the rest of Karibudis after Dragon Buster. But we have magic jamming now. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, the core counts as all the Karibudis. I was thinking that we had to devour that entire like aircraft looking thing. Okay, as long as we get the core, we have everything. Okay. <laughs> What did you actually do, Dorf? I swear to God, these Pegasus Knights, all they did was look pretty in the air, and they just flew. I don't remember a single name technique, not a single significant moment. <laughs> no, they didn't do shit, dude. Mao Mirim did. We're allies. Mabuda chief, best friends. Dorf should be aware of who Milim is, right? <laughs> yeah, this nine-year-old girl that looks like a lolly. <laughs> oh. oh, we're gonna get away with it. I, 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 cause like, everybody from our village knew who Demon Lord Milim was, but I guess, you know, to other races, dwarves, they don't really know. Or it's just the fact that Milan's body is so tiny they can't even comprehend it. They they are aware of, you know, fucking Mao Mirim, but it's like, you? No way. Alright, it's our secret weapon. Sure, don't tell Gazal about this. This works in our favor. Hey, sure. Bye, Dorf. No, he was not a great help. He was useless. Goodbye, Pegasus Knights. Kill him. Kill him. Repent. Shame. Oh. Uh oh. At least he's apologizing. The clowns. Footman. <laughs> that guy. Yes. Oh, maybe that was Laplace. <laughs> Heavy man. <laughs> I mean, he's a little rotund, yeah. Laplace was with, uh, with you know, yeah, Gabi Maru group. And Footman might have been there for Gel stuff. Jack of all trades group. Okay, Mod What really is the modern Harley Quinn Alliance? What really are they? What is their goal? Who are they allied with? They're just. They're just like the Joker. I have no clue what their plans are. They just... I have no idea what they're allies with. They're just fucking shit up. They're really interesting though. For sure, they're very interesting. I do hope that they have a deep lore. I hope that... Because like so far, we're kind of... They're portrayed as clowns, right? Obviously, they're laughing. They're goofing off, saying funny shit. But they're, they're super important. So I hope that there's like some, some deep lore and there's a good payoff in the future for them. Yeah, Benny seems to be aware of Footman. 
協力する風を装い、自分の手を汚さずに相手を利用する目的を果たす。They're puppet masters. Mirim really doesn't know anything about them? I guess even though she knows Clayman, she Clayman wouldn't really introduce that group to them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gamu is just a toy. Gamu is nothing at the end of the day. Demon Lord. Dio. No, I'm not looking at Phobia's response right now. I'm looking at the booty crack. Redemption arc already from Phobia, dude. Go home. See you in season two. I don't even want your life. Honestly, taking his life right now would be really bad. Because then, then Carrion could have like an excuse to attack us, you know? So in fact, like punishing Phobio doesn't even make sense right now. Even though I kind of do want to do that. <laughs> You've matured? I want one smack. Come on, one smack to end the episode, please. Yellow's being too mature about this. He was here? How long have you been here for? What? Bro was watching this entire time? Just letting the attack happen in our village? Fully aware that it's his men fucking this shit up? Like, he knew that Millen was there, so I guess he had utmost confidence that it'd be okay. Maybe he wanted to test out, you know, Rimuru too. This would be a good way to kind of do a little test on who is this slime, you know? I guess maybe that's his plan. That's still kind of fucked up. He just watched? He just watched? He's not looking at Shion's cleavage. Boing. Bonk! Hit him! Oh! Oh, that wasn't even a punch. He just buried his on the crowd. He just grabbed that shit. All right, nice one, nice one, nice one. I wanted Milan to punch him once too, but that was pretty satisfying. One more time, yeah, one more time. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Something about this reminds me of what Ryuin would do. <laughs> right, straight up, this is Ryuin behavior. Just to, like, violence to punish somebody in front of other people and say, sorry, my men were out of their line. <laughs> Yeah, you do. <laughs> Monkey Man was very worried for a phobia. Alright, another alliance! Another alliance with another demon lord! Easy. Two demon lord alliance in the span of one arc. Oh my god, he's bleeding a lot. The monkey's still so worried. Bye bye! What kind of teleportation is that? Alright, cool, don't tell me. Yeah, and nobody died. Did you imagine that? No! <laughs> Catastrophe fucking threat my ass. Nobody died. Not that I want random orcs or, you know, lizards or fucking dragon needs dying, but still. No casualties. Alright. That is the episode, and I believe this might be one of the most exciting parts about Season 1, right? The whole battle against the uh, orc or, like, uh, geld was pretty hyped. That arc was pretty good, but something about just Milim showing up here at the end, after we build up the hype of this, like, a calamity level threat, right? Uh, Milim just instantly just destroying this with Dragon Buster, fully aware that she is nerfed right now. She's not trying. We think that she's trying. She's not fucking trying, dude. Look at this. Jesus Christ, dude. The power fantasy, I think the power scaling at this point for a lot of people watching this show for the first time definitely gets them excited, right? And the fact that we're allied with another, you know, demon lord. It's just... Pff, things are getting... Things are actually too good. Technically, we're three demon lords, right? Because Rimuru does become a demon lord in season two. But that's it, man. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.